Hello friends, I welcome you all in this session on number system and uh, this particular session is dedicated towards finding rational numbers between two given rational numbers. So you have learned about rational numbers, we have given you the definition and the criteria of rationality. Now in this session we are going to understand if two rational numbers are given, let us say 1 and uh, let us say 5. So let us say I have a one rational number 1 and another rational number 5. Both are rational numbers? Yes, they are. Why? Because both are of the form of p by q. 1 can be written as 1 upon 1. q is not equal to 0 and GCD of p and q is 1. Isn't it? These are the three criteria for rationality. A, B and C. Sorry, q is not equal to 0. Now, so 1 and 5, it is cakewalk for you. You can always say 2, 3, 4 are in between 2.1 3.1, 4.1 are also in between, or 2.00579 is also in between 1 and 5. So you can actually find infinite number of uh, rational numbers between two given rational numbers, isn't it? But what is the formal way of doing it? Is there is some? This is this is because you know that these are you know you add a small uh, small number to the previous number you get a number between uh, the two given numbers so is there any formal way any formal way so let us say if you have to find out one number between x and y okay so idea is question is finding finding a rational number so you have to find a rational number rational number between between x and y let us say that number is small q okay or for uh, you know just to avoid confusion let us say that number is z so z is a rational number which is greater than x and less than y okay how to find such a number the idea is very simple you know that uh, the mean or if you if you don't know it so mean of two numbers always lie between the two numbers that means mean is nothing but average if you have studied about average so average of x plus y or sorry average of x and y is between is between x and y always yeah so what is average of two numbers average of two numbers is so z can be written as x plus y by 2 right so if you see this is a universal thing x is always less than x plus y by 2 and x plus y by 2 is less than y right so hence if you have two numbers you just need to do you just need to find out x plus y by 2 and you get the you get one number between the two given numbers let us say i have been given as x is 3 and let us say y is 7 so hence x plus y by 2 is nothing but 3 plus 7 by 2 which is 10 upon 2 which is nothing but 5 so hence 5 5 lies between 3 and 7 let us take another example another example let us say i have to find out find one rational number one rational number between 2 and let us say 4.5 these are the two numbers given so what will be the solution so simply you add 2 plus 4.5 by 2 which is 6.5 by 2 or which is 3.25 so clearly 3.25 is between 2 and 4.5 Another example could be if let's say they have given not in decimal form but in fraction. Let us say find now find a rational number between 1 by 2 and let us say 2 by 3. Okay. So what will be it? So first first of all, you must also ascertain that uh, you know one is lesser and another is greater. Any which way, if you have two numbers, one will be lesser than the other. Now, how to find this? So now that number is nothing but 1 by 2 plus. 2 by 3 sorry 2 by 3 upon 2 so you know how to calculate this this is nothing but your lcm is 6 
So if you take the LCM in the numerator, it is 6. So 3 plus 4 by 2, which is nothing but 7 upon 12. Okay, so 7 upon 12 lies between half and 2 by 3. This is one, one way of doing it. The, the process would not change if one of the numbers is negative. Let us say find or both are negative. Find one rational number, number between, between minus 7 and minus 1.5. Okay, so you now know what is the process. You just simply add them and divide by 2. So how much is it? It is nothing but minus 8.5 by 2, which is nothing but minus 4.25, which is which lies between the two numbers. Did you understand? So, hence, if you have to find only one, the idea is very simple add the two numbers and find out the average, and you get the number between the two numbers. Now, let us say the question is something like this find find two rational numbers two rational numbers between between let us say 1 and 2.5 many times you will also uh, see it is written as insert insert two rational numbers insert two rational numbers this is the language of the question between between 1 and 2.5 in both the cases it's only in the matter of language otherwise everything is same so how to do this again now two rational numbers so you now know you can find out the first rational number first first numbers will be nothing but simply 1 plus 2.5 by 2 so which is 3.5 by 2 which is 1.75 okay if you simplify 3.5 by 2 you'll get 1.75 now this next number could be you take any of the given numbers let us say 1 and take the new number the first found out number as the second number in the case second case so second case second number will be you can simply pick any of these numbers so let us say i am taking 1 so out of 1 and 2.5 i took 1 and then the next number instead of 2.5 you take 1.75 right and then repeat the process so what is it it is nothing but 2.75 by 2 which is nothing but 1.375 okay so hence 1.375 and 1.75 lie between between which numbers 1 and 2.5 so you can go on repeating this process so you take uh, the first number and the newly found number or any of the two given numbers or any of the you know whatever uh, you could have also done this you could have taken 2.5 and 1.75 and then you would have divided by divided the sum by 2 you would get another such number right so hence you can continue this process let us say the question said instead of 2 find 3 know the process one is you re repeat the process three times and you get right so what will you do you will first find out uh, the first number is anyways 1.75 then second number is 1.375 then you can always take 1 and 1 point newly found number 1.375 by 2 you'll get another number likewise you can do it right so this is one way of finding as many natural num uh, rational numbers between two given numbers but let us say if you you know is there any other method of doing it yes there is so let us see the alternate alternate method alternate method what is alternate method let us say you have to find out again same numbers we'll take 1 and 1 and 2.5 you have to find out let us say find find 10 rational numbers rational numbers now it will be too cumbersome if you go by the first method which we discussed you keep on adding you know and then dividing by 2 and all that instead of that do we have a better number yes a better uh, method yes how method is this first of all first of all convert convert all first of all convert all the given numbers into fraction numbers into fraction into fraction how to do that 
so it is in this case so it is 1 and 2.5 is nothing but 25 by 10 isn't it correct now what uh, so hence basically uh, 2.5 and 2.5 1 and 2.25 by 10 now second step is equate the denominators equate the denominators what does it mean denominators so somehow i want to find i want to you know what is the denominator with 1 is 1 right can i have 10 as the denominator in case of 1 also yes i can then write it is 10 upon 10 isn't it 10 upon 10 and the other number is 25 upon 10 isn't it now easily if you see there are various numbers already there which is so you can now find out lots of numbers between 10 upon 10 and 25 upon 10 so numbers like 11 upon 10 12 upon 10 13 upon 10 14 upon 10 15 upon 10 all these numbers till let us say 20 upon 10 all are all these numbers are greater than 1 that is 10 upon 10 and less than 25 upon 25 upon 10 isn't it this is all you have to you can do it without much of an hassle much of an hassle now well, now let us take another example another example is let us say insert insert five rational numbers five rational numbers between between one by two and two by three so if you see it's already in fraction form isn't it so what to do first equate the denominator how so one way is so i have to convert 2 and 3 into something common so let us say you have to basically take the lcm of 2 and 3 so lcm you take of 2 and 3 is nothing but 6 so this will be the denominator so hence if 6 is the denominator in the first one so hence 1 by 2 can be written as 3 by 6 and second one can be written as what uh 4 by 6 isn't it so now 3 and 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 are my numbers again what did i do i found out the lcm of the denominators and then keeping the denominators constant i converted the given fractions into another fraction right so 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 but can i insert five rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 looks difficult so what i do is add 1 to 5 okay adding 1 to 5 will get 6 now you multiply 6 to the numerator and denominator in both the fractions so hence 3 by 6 can be written as 3 by 6 right and it is 4 by 6 into 6 by 6 correct multiply and divide the numerator and the denominator you know multiply 6 to both numerator and denominator in both the fractions right so one by one in case of 3 by 6 another in case of 4 by 6 so what will you get you'll get 18 upon 36 and you'll get 24 upon 36 now clearly you can see lots of so you know the fraction denominators are same so the numbers are now 19 upon 36 20 upon 36 21 upon 36 22 upon 36 and 23 upon 36 right so hence it is important to add one add one to the number of the desired number of uh, rational numbers which are to be inserted right then you will get extra uh, values to pick from and hence you will see these are the five natural oh sorry fractions or um, rational numbers between which two values it was between 18 by 36 and 24 by 36 but 18 by 36 is as good as 3 by 6 and 24 by 36 is as good as 4 by 6 which is as good as saying between 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 if you see 18 by 36 is nothing but 1 by 2 and 24 by 36 is nothing but 2 by 3 correct so hence we could find out find out these many rational numbers between the two given rational numbers you will get more clarity when you go through the problem solving sessions thank you